This is Dollarhoff. I recognise him from the wanted posters. Yes, guys, welcome to the fanboy. And as you saw from that little clip, I just thought I would um, edit into the video. Antonin Dollarhoff, Death Eater. Probably one of the most loyal Death Eaters. Now, this is why I think Dollarhoff is a very, very powerful and elite Death Eater. So without further ado, let's get started. Anton and Dolohov defeated Mad-Eye Moody in the Department of Mysteries in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which I have right here. This is one of my favorite Harry Potter books. It's got really cool action scenes, uh, the occlumency scenes, I absolutely love that. And we learned in that book, Anton and Dolohov escaped Azkaban, which is the only person to have done it before him. Serious black. Anton and Dolohov was responsible for the murder of Molly Weasley's brothers, the Pruitts, Ron Weasley's uncles, the Fred and George of that time. Except maybe not as immature, I guess. Anyways, we're talking about Dolohov here. Dolohov dueled Sirius Black. That is Dolohov's most embarrassing moment in the series. He was defeated by Sirius Black and Harry Potter. Now, why is that embarrassing for him? Sirius Black is really powerful. Well, he's just defeated Mad-Eye Moody. He just took down Order members, and he seemed to have been um, proving his skill in this book so far. You know, he escaped Azkaban, he defeated Moody, and then Sirius Black just elbows him out of the way. I didn't think that was the best way to deal with Dollhoff. I feel like the movies did it a bit better. Sirius blasts him. Um, Sirius Black's wand. I have it right here, actually. I will be doing a review on this, so watch that. So, Sirius blasts him in the movie. In the, bo in the book, Sirius just elbows him out of the way, which I really did not like. I didn't think that was the best way to deal with Dollhoff. Dollhoff was defeated by Phileas Flitwick. Phileas Flitwick is a dueling legend. Now, Dollhoff is also a spell creator. He created a purple flame curse, which he used to knock out Hermione in the... Order the Phoenix book. Again, he used it on Hermione, which knocked Hermione unconscious, and Harry had to carry her to the rest of the Dumbledore's army so they could escape. Dolov also defeated Neville Longbottom in the same battle and knocked Harry Potter so he so Harry would bash his head on the hard stone wall in the Department of Mysteries, which is the best bit in the entire book. Maybe Dumbledore and Voldemort. I don't know. That came close. Anyways, Anton Dolov was the one who killed one of my personal favorite Harry Potter characters, which is one reason I love to hate Dolohov. Remus, John, Lupin. And the death of Remus and Tonks was very heartbreaking for many fans, and I know for a fact I'm not the only fan who thinks that. Um, Remus Lupin put up a good fight, but he was... Dolohov is on a level of his own, man. No one can... No one can best Dolohov. So, Dolohov defeated... Remus Lupin, while his fellow Death Eater, Bellatrix Lestrange, took, 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 took down Nymphadora Tonks. Nymphadora Tonks and Remus Lupin fought valiantly. They put up a great fight, and they gave Dolohov and Bellatrix a run for his money. Dolohov was one of the few people to be very, indeed, actually loyal to Voldemort. Because look at this. I know I'm going to ruin a lot of... I know some of the best cool characters are Death Eaters, but look, Lucius Malfoy was never truly loyal to Voldemort. We know that. He didn't go looking for him when we think he died. <clears throat> All those years ago when he tried to kill baby Harry. Lucius didn't go looking for him. He was the only person to run away from the Battle of Hogwarts. He didn't want to part in that anymore. Severus Snape was never truly loyal to Voldemort. He was at first in the first Wizarding War, but that's because he had nowhere to go. He lost Lily Potter as a friend, which is why the chapter in Order of the Phoenix is called... Snape's worst memory. I'm going to make a book why I think that... Uh, a book. No. I will make a video on why I think that is the best Harry Potter book. So, yeah. Snape was never truly loyal to Voldemort. He he just did, was a death eater in the First Wizarding War. Because he had nowhere to go. He lost Lily Potter as a friend. James Potter and Sirius Black picked on him so much. Remus Lupin wasn't really Snape's friend. Even though he never took part in the bullying. Snape was friends with death eaters at school. Um, Avery, who didn't search for Voldemort's body either when he, we, quote-unquote, died. Fenrir Greyback, never an official Death Eater. 
He often didn't take part in the big missions, such as the Department of Mysteries battle, when the Death Eaters battled the Order of the Phoenix for the Prophecy. Um, in the film, however, he was there when uh, on the Astronomy Tower of the Night, Snape killed Dumbledore. And Snape only killed Dumbledore because Dumbledore and Snape had a deal. So Fenrir Greyback, he wasn't a, an official Death Eater, not because he wasn't loyal to Voldemort, because he want, he had his own agenda. He wanted to make as many werewolves as possible. He wanted to bite as many people he, as he could so there'd be more werewolves on this planet. And he was one responsible for Lupin's condition, but not important. And the only people truly loyal to him are the Azkaban escapees. Now, I know some of you are thinking, what about Wormtail? No, Wormtail was not loyal to Voldemort at all. Voldemort even know Voldemort knew this himself. He only kept Wormtail because he owed him a debt of bringing him back. Now, Wormtail acted out of fear. Wormtail only was only friends with the Marauders, friends, because he wanted big, strong wizards to protect him. And then he went for Voldemort because Voldemort was the strongest and biggest guy. So, Wormtail, no. <coughs> Sorry about that. Not a loyal Death Eater. Only loyal ones, Azkaban escapees. The Azkaban escapees are the people who escaped Azkaban in one of the best Harry Potter books, Order of the Phoenix. Um, the Daily Prophet said Sirius Black was leading the attack, but he was an Order of the Phoenix member, as we know, falsely accused by Wormtail. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so, Bellatrix Strange. Oh, I can't remember every Death Eater that escaped. Here, why don't I just check? Ah, here we go. Uh, here it is. Bellatrix Lestrange, Augustus Rockwood, um, and Anton and Dolohov is the main one we are focusing on. So, Anton and Dolohov was uh, put to Azkaban for the murder of the Pruitts, Molly Weasley's brothers, uh, as I mentioned. Um, and he escaped which few people have escaped Azkaban. Like I said, only person who has is Sirius Black. And the only Death Eater to know a Patronus charm is Severus Snape. And that's the only way to get past Dementors of Azkaban, so how they escaped, I don't really know. Well, actually, there are um, certain fans who have sort of tried to connect the dots a little bit. Um, Voldemort could have been controlling the Dementors, that's a big fan theory, that's what Dumbledore believes as well. The, the Dementors could have just been all, you know, moved away from Azkaban to guard somewhere else, because Dumbledore did warn Fudge, Fudge maybe didn't listen because he doesn't want it to be true, but he just needed to be prepared. Anyways, I don't know. But he was one of the few escapees of Azkaban, and all these people who were sentenced to Azkaban were loyal to Voldemort. Barty Crouch Jr. was straight loyal. He didn't have to um, go to Voldemort's side. He did because he was, um, he just wanted to do harm and just do evil. Uh, he lost his mother and there was nothing better in life. He believed in Voldemort's cause. Valtrex the Strange, one of the most loyal Death Eaters to Lord Voldemort. And then there's Anton and Dalahov, who was friends with Lord Voldemort before Voldemort was Voldemort, back when he was Tom. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just um, not a usual video I'll do. Not one of the, my uh, the not one of the usual videos I do. Like I said, it's a bit different. I don't give many opinion videos, but this was my opinion. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And just remember, mischief managed.